Yo, what is up fam? My name is Justin and this is Jay Chung TV. Today, we're gonna look at some pieces from the Uniqlo Jill Sander collab plus J Spring Summer Collection 21. We'll touch on sizing, styling, materials, so let's get it. This dry crew neck here was the first thing that caught my eye when I was browsing the preview online. You know that face you make when you hear a banger song for the first time? I'll insert a meme here, but I'll also try to recreate that face. Yeah, this is my face when I saw this piece. The colors go crazy. In terms of sizing, its cut is oversized, boxy, relaxed fit, this and that. Call it whatever you want. I tried on both the medium and large in store and decided on the medium. I usually get a large in regular fitting sweatshirts, but since this crew neck has an oversized cut to it, the large just looks too big. It's a little bit too wide and too long, and the sleeves extend past the metacarpals. Call me Dr. Jaychong TV. I much prefer how the medium sits on the body. You still get that oversized look, but without going full oversized. You never go full oversized. For reference, I'm 6 feet or 183 centimeters, 160 pounds or 73 kilos. Let's talk about the materials a little bit. This is made of a cotton polyester blend. Now, the polyester is dope because it adds a little bit more stretch to it and also some sheen, which, <laughs> fuck you, it's different than shine. Now this crew neck comes in white, navy, black, and gray, which I think is by far the sickest color. First off, unless I'm colorblind, this gray that they say is definitely more of a lavender, almost purple, pastel vibes. Let me know what you guys see in the comments down below. So being a more pastel, more out there color, you wanna make this the center of attention. Stay away from colorful pants or shoes, graphics, or even logos, as it will really confuse the eyes. Case in point, an outfit like this with just a million different things going on. It'll make your eyes go up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. Not knowing what to focus on. Up, down, left, right. Till the DDR genie appears. Keep the fit simple with this piece. I like how the black contrasts the pastel color and I threw on some neutral looking Yeezys to complement the shade of the crew neck. I went with some looser pants to just make the whole silhouette really relaxed fitting. I think this is a great warmish outfit for spring summer nights. All right, next piece. Past couple years, I've really started to mess with short sleeve button downs more and more. I think it's a great spring summer look. So, you know, your boy had to pick up this neutral cream colored one. It's got an oversized cut to it for sure. Most of my other button downs, I usually go size large, but this one I went with a medium. I also tried on the size small in store and that one fits pretty decent too. I'll just say this, if you plan on wearing this open buttoned, I would probably size down. But if you're planning on wearing this buttoned up, I would stick with your true size. This is because once you button it up, it makes it tighter than when unbuttoned, if you know what I mean. Personally, I plan on wearing this buttoned up most of the time, so I'm gonna go with my true size, which is the medium. It fits oversized, as you can see in the sleeves here, but not oversized to the point where you can see my gold chain and hairy chest. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? No? Forget about it. The materials is an area where I think they could have improved on. It's 100% Supima cotton, and I think shirts like this usually work better with viscose, rayon, polyester, or some type of synthetic that resembles silk. This is because those materials have a lighter feel and more unstructured look to it, as opposed to cotton. Also, cotton just shows wrinkles easier. Yeah, pretty bummed they picked cotton for this, not gonna lie. This comes in a bunch of colors, but I think the cream colored one is the most appropriate for the spring summer season. I also saw a blue one in store and I think that looks really dope too. So if you're not a big fan of the cream colored one, then I say give that one a shot. For styling, it's oversized cut does all the talking. There's no crazy features like patterns or store away hoods or a f***ing cup holder, but it's simple. And because it's simple, I think this works great in casual or dressy outfits. You can defs wear this in a clean fit like this to church, which will tempt some ladies to commit some premarital hand holding. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. But it also works in more streetwear outfits like this one. Pretty loud, lots of stuff going on here, but I think it comes together nicely. The cream button down complements the olive pants. The Air Maxes are on some subtle if you know you know vibes. And the bag makes it look like I'm on a motherfucking safari. Crikey, mate. At first, I thought this shirt would look better if it was just all white. But the cream color is different and it's really grown on me. 
I guess it's all white that it's not all white. Overall, this is a great versatile piece. Definitely would recommend. Last but not least, let's touch base on these wide fit cargo shorts here. In photos and on the clothes hangers, it definitely looks wide, I'm not gonna lie. But when I tried them on, it, it fit better than I expected. You see, I'm like an opposite Chad where my legs are actually larger than my upper body. Bruh. So I actually prefer wide fit bottoms. There's a YKK zipper fly and a nice touch is this inside button tab which should secure the waist cause this metal thing can sometimes come undone. The shorts are wide but the waist fits true to size. I got a size small here and for reference I'm a 30 inch waist and I usually get a size small in most bottoms. Nothing special about the materials here, it's just 100% cotton like your standard cargo shorts. In terms of styling, the features are pretty toned down. Really, you just have this one pocket here on the side, which is very minimal looking. Like you only see this flap as opposed to the whole pocket typically seen on cargo shorts. That's pretty different and it's only on one side too, so that's kind of unique. It's a pretty minimal looking pair of shorts, so I think you can style it any which way you want. You really can't go wrong. I would only suggest that you choose a looser top on top because it'll match the proportions of the wide fit bottoms. You know what I mean? I chose an all black outfit with a bucket hat because I think it's a pretty badass summer look. Like I said, choose a looser t-shirt or polo or whatever just to keep the whole thing nicely proportioned. Down below, I added some blue Jordan 1s for a pop of color. Aight, let's wrap things up. Alright guys, as usual, super fire pieces from the Uniqlo Plus J collection. I also really like the jackets I saw in store, so if you're looking for a lightweight spring jacket, give that a look. Drop some questions down below, I'll try my best to answer it. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, I'd really appreciate that. Peace! See you soon, boy!